guys how are y'all doing how's everybody doing out there i hope everybody's having a great day so far i'm having a fabulous day it's just been fabulous okay all right it is greta it's kitchen talk time okay all right let's go ahead and jump into this conversation and talk a little bit about entertainment and what's been going on and um yeah just see see what you guys think about some of the stuff that's been going on or has already went on okay I know a couple of weeks ago, I know everybody tuned in to check out Janet Jackson. She had a two-night um, documentation that she did on her her side and her view, her truth of her life. And she, you know, talked about from the time, the earliest she can remember, you know, growing up and getting into the entertainment business. and how her dad affected her business and being a part of her business and him really, you know, pushing her to stay into the entertainment business just as he did her brothers. You know, he wanted them to stay into entertainment and that's what he wanted their careers to be. And she talked about that and, you know, she um, said she didn't, she, I guess she didn't really experience him. He was strict with her also and pushed her really hard when he came to her business. But, you know, some of the other things, I guess, people had said about him and how he was so hard on her brothers and everything. But, yeah, she talked about that. And she talked about all her whole life. She told her truth. She talked about her first marriage to James Jabbar. And, you know, at 18 years old, that was kind of like her form, her way of escaping her dad's grip and everything and how that marriage went to the left with her. And then she talked about her marriage with um, Renee and how they met and everything. And uh, then she talked about her time that she spent with Jermaine Dupri, you know. And, you know, she just had um, a lonely, I, I when I watched Janet, I felt like a lot of her life growing up as a child growing up into her till she really got up into her age and I guess like 30s and 40s it was pretty lonely you know she it wasn't you know she wasn't always around a lot of people and she was seeing how hard it was for her to make friends and everything it's because she didn't know if they was genuine trying to be her friend because of who she was or because of her family name so she was kind of saying that the name has a it's a two side to having a Jackson name and everything but yeah it was interesting when she was talking about her and Jermaine Dupri and she really it seemed like she really cared about every you know each guy that she was involved with and she wanted you know wanted her marriages to work now her and Jermaine never got married but uh she just said he was very dedicated to his work and he was just work 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 and then come to find out when they was asking them you know what happened between her and Jermaine and Jermaine was saying he probably did something stupid. And Janet just went ahead and put it out there that he cheated on her. <laughs> and when, when she put it out there, he was he laughed about it and he was like, Yeah, being stupid. He was like, Well dang, when he was with Janet, it's like she was a magnet. She every woman wanted him. Everybody, every woman was trying to get with him once they found out he was dating Janet Jackson, you know. And I guess that's just that's just what it is, you know. And, you know, and I think he kind of, you know, a little bit regret doing what he did to her, um, you know, cheating on her or whatever. But, yeah, he said that she was like a magnet. She drew all these other women in trying to get his attention. And he admitted he did something stupid and stuff. But it seemed like they still, you know, cool and everything. So then, you know, she went off and got married, went overseas, and her husband and she has a baby with her husband, a little five-year-old baby. Well, he's a little boy, five years old. But it was really good. I really uh, enjoy watching her, um, her, her document. And, you know, she, um, she didn't have her whole family in there. You know, she had a mom, and she was talking to her mom about Michael. And she asked her, she's like, Mother, if you don't want to talk about Michael, then we don't have to. So she definitely was making sure her mom was good. And Reby was there did a lot of interviews you know Ruby did and of course Randy did quite a few and Tito did a couple of you know interviews she talked about the whole thing with Michael how close they were at one point and then you know she could see a change in it 
in their relationship, but she's always loved her brothers and was always there to support and and be there for them. So she talked about that, and then she talked about that ridiculous thing where they was going, you know, years ago, they was talking about she had a baby with James DeBar, and she had left the baby with him, and then they said she re-adopted the baby and all kind of stuff. But she pretty much cleared everything up. She even cleared up the thing about the Super Bowl with Justin Timberland, you know. She said she told him, just don't, don't talk about it. But it was still wrong how they did her. So that was her thing, and you can probably go back and Google it if you didn't get a chance to watch it and everything. And let's see what else going on in entertainment. And it's probably already on, already showing, you know. But you know, they started the new episode of the Big Brother Celebrity, uh, Big Brother Show. And with that, they got. Uh, I was looking at some of the castmates on it, and I keep missing it. I keep missing it. I haven't seen it yet. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta sit down and, and watch it and get stuff. But you know, before they showed the castmates and before it came on. You know, they was all on social media saying that Nene supposed to be on there. She was going to be one of the castmates. And I was already waiting to see how that was going to go, especially with Cynthia being on it too, because they were saying Cynthia was going to be a castmate too. So Cynthia is on it. She is a castmate. And Nene is not on it. I don't know what happened, why she, you know, is not on there, because it was definitely on social media saying she was going to be a part of the Big Brother Celebrity this year. And, uh, but she's not on there. Uh, you got Cynthia Bailey on there. Uh, you got Lamar Oden on there. You got Todd Bridges on there. You got uh, Carson Kelsey on there. Um, oh my God. Oh my God. It's it's so many. I should have wrote all of them down. But it's going to be interesting to see. So I'm going to have to go catch up on that and see how that go. You know, see how that, who's going to end up doing what. But yeah. I was looking, I was more excited about Nene and Cynthia being on there because I don't really think they've really been communicating with each other since before Nene left, after Nene left the show. I don't really know what's, what, what their relationship is, what's the status of their relationship or where they're at with their relationships. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, and I'm still waiting for the housewives to come on. It should be coming on probably within the next few weeks. Um, like I said, I don't know if they're going to do Candace's show first, her spinoff, Candace in the Game. Or they're gonna do the housewife, but you know the housewife's got quite a few new people on it, and then Marlo has her peach this year. She's finally got her peach, but I've been hearing it's a lot of drama. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of drama coming from the housewife. So yeah, I'm excited to catch up on that and that get started, and then you know watching the old lady game um, with Candace to see how that's gonna be. But yeah, that's that's it. You know, I'm a housewife fanatic. I, especially, like I said, they, the housewives of Atlanta, Potomac, Love and Marriage Huntsville. That's my favorite, Love and Marriage Huntsville. I got to support them. And, you know, Married to Madison. Oh, you know, and I know I shouldn't discriminate. I'm not saying I'm discriminating because I look at the house, the housewife of, of Salt Lake. I look at those. I look at them, too. And stuff. I don't. I looked at uh, the housewife out there in California maybe twice, but then that was it. So you know, there is other housewives that I support, but I definitely show the support for the um, the black ones. You know, I can relate quite a bit with some of the stuff they have going on. But like I said, Salt Salt Lake is good too. It's good. But yeah, so that's what I um, you know that's what it is going on with the with the uh, entertainment right now. And like I said, every, every day is going to be something different with entertainment, but I have got to make some time to sit down and check out the big brother because I'm just curious to see, you know, how Cynthia is going to handle that. Because, you know, for a while, Cynthia, she she used to just sit back and not say anything, but I guess she done kind of spunked up a little bit because you got to have some spunk to be on the house, the big brother. You know, you got to be, you got to be backstabbing and, and stabbing people in the back and, and playing both sides and you got to be able to manipulate people <laughs> and do all that. So maybe, you know, Cynthia has picked up some tricks here from being on the um, on the housewife all those years. So, yeah, I'm going to have to check it out and see see who's doing what on there and everything. But, yeah, that's a little bit of what's going on in the entertainment world. Like I said, if you guys miss Janet Jackson, you probably can go back and Google it and watch the whole thing. It was a two-night series on that. Um, you know, and, and, and watch it. She really told her truth with that and everything. Um, you know, like I said, if you haven't been able to watch The Big Brother, 
you can check that out too. Uh, and then just sit back and, and get ready for them Housewives and Candace new show, okay? All right, guys, that's about all ground I got going on today. I just wanted to throw the little, little bits and pieces up there with this little entertainment and everything. So, yeah, I'm about to get up out of here. You guys already know what I need you to do. I need you to go back, share my video with your family and friends, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already became one of Grandma's people. And, guys, I just want to say this, too, while I'm talking about coming one of my people. I appreciate, I really do appreciate the support. The support you guys give me, all the support. And I know sometimes I may seem like I'm just all over the place, you know, but I just I just bring it to you as, as it pop into my head and my heart. I just put it out there. You know, I try to be honest with you guys. I try to keep everything as positive as possible. But you know, I just I, I just talk to you guys as if I was talking to a family uh, or someone, you know. But yeah, you know, share my video, hit that subscribe button, you know, show me some love, show me some likes, okay? All right, you guys have a great day and I am gonna check you out in the kitchen next time around.